Hello there, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We've got your weekly reading. This is covering February 26th through to March 3rd, 2024. Let's get into it and see what energies that we've got coming in for you guys this week. And we do have some interaction with you. We've got your choose your deck for your week ahead. So see which deck you're drawn to. Maybe you're drawn to the back of the deck. Maybe you're drawn to the name, or you may be drawn to the crystal. It's sitting on top. Whatever one is calling for you, there's a reason for that. If you are called to more than one deck, there's likely multiple messages in there for you. So completely free form, watch as many as you like. We have deck number one over here, Influence of the Angels. And we've got clear quartz on there. We have the fairy tarot deck right here. And we've got a beautiful fairy finger um, crystal on there. And then we have the golden journey tarot over here, which actually has a very lovely green aventurine, but it looks probably black in the, uh, in the camera. So choose your deck, see what you're drawn to. We're going to see what is coming up for you guys in your week ahead. If you are new to my channel, by the way, hello and welcome. Say hello in the comments down below. Where are you watching from? And um, for all of you, if you do enjoy your reading, please do hit that like button. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading. And it also helps the algorithm, which is a recommendation, which is a recommendation system, excuse me, um, share it with the world. So timestamps are going to be down below in the description box and the comment section so that you can jump around easily. Let's get right into it. Hello to those of you who chose deck number one. We've got Influence of the Angels coming in here, and let's see what messages are coming out for you for your week ahead. Messages for those who chose deck number one, please. Deck number one, please. Thank you. First off, we've got the Six of Wands coming out there for you. That is lovely. We've got the Two of Pentacles, and the five of wands. Okay, so yeah, this is some interesting energy coming in here. You may have a couple of ups and downs. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck, let your intuition guide you, okay? No matter what you're doing, uh, no matter what you're deciding or what you're trying to overcome there, your intuition can give you a heads up that there might be a little bit of drama um, or conflict um, up ahead. But the High Priestess energy is your own intuition so that you uh, can try Trust your own inner wisdom, your own inner guidance system to make the right decision, to make the right choices, and to figure out how to get things done. But the Six of Wands, we are starting the week here riding high. So you might just be feeling really confident going into your week. You might be making some very interesting moves in regards to uh, some challenges that you may face or some money issues going on or even just what you've got planned for the week. You've got a little bit of a strategy in place and this could really work out for you. But the Six of Wands does show an energy of victory, success. It does show you riding high, maybe even getting publicly recognized in some way for something that you have overcome and that you have accomplished or something that maybe you are chosen to do because you're the one that has that talent, has that capability. And we do have a five of wands here. So usually we get the six of wands after the five of wands. So this can certainly indicate to me that you might be faced with a little bit of a challenge. and. Are you going to accept your mission or are you going to turn it down? Because the two of pentacles, you're weighing up your options. You're thinking about, should I do this thing? Should I not do this thing? Or how am I going to resolve something? You just know that you can overcome something there in that energy. It may be that you're put in charge of a project at work. Maybe there's something that's gone a little bit sideways. Uh, you might be leading a team of people. And a lot of times the six of wands can come up as some sort of um, personal victory, but it can also come up as like a career victory here as well. But whatever it is, whether you're overcoming something or you know that there's something coming up that you're going to have to deal with, this is showing that you've got the confidence and the determination to get things done. Now, some of you could be possibly here with the six of wands. Uh, you might be you might be placing a friendly wager, okay? Um, because the five of wands that's coming up at the end of your week for the weekend, 
right? This can represent physical activity. It can represent sporting events, that kind of thing. The Six of Wands can be a public event. The Two of Pentacles could be making a decision or juggling your money. So if you get an invitation to go to like, I don't know, what season are we in? Uh, spring, I don't know, what are we playing in the spring? Hockey, maybe. Um, you know, so if you get an invitation to go to like a hockey game or something, the Two of Pentacles, you might be deciding, do I have time to go or can I afford it? Um, um, this can represent that, you know, maybe you are looking forward to something on the weekend as well. Maybe you're participating in some sort of event, um, you know, or again, attending something there and you're maybe, you know, a little bit confident that it's going to be like a good game kind of thing. Because again, that five of wands can represent like physical activity, typically in a group and this may be in a public setting. So this can be, uh, this can be quite interesting for you. The outlook, well, we'll see what the outlook might look like for your sports team. Um, but it could be, oh, it could go either way. It could be a toss up, right? So maybe it's a tie with that two of pentacles. But with the two of pentacles here, you may have a busy week. You're kind of juggling your priorities and maybe you're trying to figure out what to get done first. You got a lot on your plate there and you might actually need to take some very important steps to find some balance in your life here because with the two of pentacles things are a little bit off kilter and it's sustainable for the short term but not for the long term so it can be that we've bitten off more than we can chew or you've got you know maybe have to say no to somebody this may five of wands cause a little bit of drama uh, cause a little bit of conflict right but stand your ground and ride high with the six of wands because that might be a very important decision so you can get done what you need to get done or so that you don't put yourself in a position where you're tired and burnt out. But being flexible, uh, open, adaptable is going to be the key for you this week. Keep your options open. Um, roll with the punches, right? Go with the flow is going to be your way to uh, really kind of move forward through the week. But I do think that some of you have a little bit of a decision to make. Maybe your intuition is telling you that there might be some sort of gathering get together five of wands that may go a little bit sideways because we can get some drama in there with that. So with the high priestess energy at the bottom of the deck, maybe your intuition is, is like, mm, I don't know how this is going to work for you. Maybe you should say no, or maybe you should deke out of that and try and avoid um, going to going to that gathering. So you could really be making the smart decision here and avoiding some sort of gathering, which is probably going to go a little bit sideways. All right. But with the five of wands, yes, we do have an opportunity for change. We do have some exciting energy coming in there. It's not always the easiest energy. So this can be you making a conscious effort to make some changes in your life. Two of pentacles, you're trying to decide which path to take, which direction to take and um, to overcome something that has been in your way or something that's just not going the way that you want it to go. We have the Empress card here as the blessings headed your way. So this can be wonderful. This can represent abundance. So, um, so you're, uh, if you are having a little bit of a friendly, uh, friendly competitive wager on your sports team, the Empress can show that there is something coming to harvest for you, something coming to fruition. So this can be, um, where you may get a little bit of money back. I am not, uh, not going to, it's collective reading, right? So take that with a grain of salt. Um, ultimately, you are responsible for your own choices, but it's a really good energy. The Empress brings resources to the forefront for you, brings in a creative energy. Also, of course, brings things to fruition. And it can certainly bring in some money or abundance or success in some way. So this can be where you're riding high on some success and you're just having a fairly good week. Um, but this can uh, certainly represent that, yes, there's something positive happening. The Empress card is um, bringing in an energy of new beginnings, of a fresh start and love, right? Love and romance may come in here with the Empress card and the Five of Wands if you're having any issues with some relationships or people in general in your life there with that, right? This can show that you have an opportunity to fix something, to get something back on track or to smooth the waters in some way, but you might need to take a different approach, but you may also need to take a gentle approach. The Empress 
Empress is Venus energy. It's, it's very gentle for the most part, um, very feminine energy. But uh, be open to things, right? And like we saw with the Two of Pentacles, flexibility and adaptability might be your key to navigating your week here in this. But you might need to be a little bit creative um, or to, again, with the Empress bringing in new energy, um, you know, try something a little bit different than what you would normally do, right? But this is a wonderful energy bringing you resources. Um, you might be feeling like you need to take care of your own needs. So again, if you've got um, an invitation to go somewhere or if there might be like some sort of gathering, whether it's friends or family, whatever it happens to be with the Empress, um, you might be making a decision that, you know what? I need some time to myself, right? And maybe some feathers are ruffled there, right? Because someone really wants you to go or they're annoyed that you kind of ditch out. Um, but taking care of your own needs is probably going to prevail. This is a bigger energy than the five of wands, the two of pentacles and the six of wands. So um, take care of yourself, nurture yourself, make sure you get enough sleep, do something nice for yourself there and the empress card as well. Um, and you probably have a really good week ahead. We've got the page of swords here as your advice from spirit. Keep the lines of communication open and speak your truth. Be honest and open with yourself and also with other people. The page of swords is about having an open mind, being willing to try something new, take a new approach, or this is where you might have a big idea, like an idea to do something or to change something. And the six of wands here kicks off your week with you setting something in motion. And so your advice there is to run with it. If you've got an idea, what can you do to make that idea happen, to turn something into reality? Make plans for your future. What does that look like for you? Is your future just your week ahead or is it a little bit longer than that? So the Page of Swords does focus on the future, but also does focus on um, crystal clear communication and perhaps even new communication here as well. And again, we've got some new energy, some fresh energy here, maybe a fresh perspective and open mind might um, really help you navigate through your week. Um, but this can also be like a new way of thinking or a new way of communicating with people, right? This can really help you in this regard. So whatever it is, keep those lines of communication open, but don't be afraid to look at things a little bit differently, change your perspective in this energy and really look to see where it will lead you, where something will lead you. Um, don't doubt your decisions, right? Remember the high priestess, right? You know what the answer is for you. You know what the right um, decisions are for you. And so don't doubt yourself. <clears throat> Some of you, I do feel you might buy um, buy like a new computer or something this week or a new phone or something like that because um, this might be something that can help you communicate a little bit better um, or some something that can really bring your technology um, up to date kind of thing. The Page of Swords quite often is associated with technology and science um, the internet kind of thing. So you could get some um, new ideas off the internet. Maybe you get some messages that you weren't expecting. There may be love in the air for some of you, new love perhaps here with the Page of Swords, or maybe um, a friend or something seeks you out wanting to maybe make amends. Um, so we got some interesting energy there for you, but remember the, um, the Empress card there is your biggest energy for the week. So that's Venus energy. And very peaceful, very loving, kind, warm, caring, right? But also very creative. So let's get a couple last messages out here for you guys. We're going to get two of those. Thank you very much. And we have romance. Hey, there you go. So yes, maybe a little bit of love and romance in the air for you. Um, whether this is new love, perhaps, that you're opening up to, or perhaps resolving issues in a current relationship as well. If it's your birthday this week, someone could actually be uh, planning something a little bit special for you in that regard. But a little bit of love and romance might be in the air for some of you. We have not the right time for some of you here as well. Remember, we've got this 
energy here of trying to make a decision, yes or no, left or right, right? And, you know, so for some of you here, you might find that, you know, maybe there's something that you have an opportunity to change or to overcome, or maybe, um, you know, you're going to put yourself in the, um, in the driver's seat of something, or maybe someone wants you to, right? And, you know, so the not the right time is like, you know what, this might be good for me, but not today or not this week. And, you know, this can be canceling some plans or saying, draw, um, saying no to an invitation, right? Cause it's like, no, I need to, I need to kind of take care of my own business right about now. So if you've been trying to decide on something, right, you might decide to put the brakes on something just for the moment, not forever with the not the right time energy. It's like, yes, but later right? That kind of, that kind of thing. So if there's been something that's causing you a conundrum, don't be afraid to put something off or to reschedule something that's maybe you're just not feeling it. I'm going to leave that there for you folks. Um, I hope there was something here for you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Remember, embrace that Empress energy there. That is your prevailing energy for the week and that is blessings anyway. So that's the energy benefiting you the most. So I thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to move on now to deck number two. Hello to those of you who chose deck number two. We've got the fairy tarot coming in here for you guys. So let's have a look and see what messages are coming out for you guys. Whoa, thank you very much. I think we'll just put that back. All right, messages for deck number two. Messages for those who chose the fairy tarot, please. Thank you. We have the Five of Summer, the Nine of Spring, and we've got Ego coming in here. Something's got to change this week for you guys. All right, we've got the Chariot at the bottom of the deck, some Cancerian energy. The Chariot speaks to your drive, determination, your ambition, and your willpower. This is success that comes from your own actions, from your own decisions. You are the one that can get yourself moving forward, that can propel yourself in a better direction or can overcome any obstacles, challenges that you are facing. But it's by your actions, by your decisions. It's all about you here with this energy. But this does bring you success. It brings you a victorious accomplishment over something or at least makes you feel as though you're making some right moves and you're getting things going in a better direction for yourself. The chariot card is a card of destiny. So there may be something that you're dealing with, something that you're clearing out um, or something that you are changing that you are meant to change. The wheels are already set in motion here, but there could also be some events out of your control, but this is bringing you some much needed change in your life. So sometimes change isn't always the easiest thing, um, but it is a part of being human. Change is inevitable, right? And if change doesn't happen we forever get stuck in a rut and that's never fun either but we do start out your week with the five of summer so there may be something here that you're working through something here that you are trying to heal all right and the five of summer can represent that there's been some sort of loss or some disappointment it is kind of like a, a very sad kind of energy but it is an energy where we can turn things around. All is not lost, right? One door closes, another one may open. We may have to face some disappointment, sadness, or some loss in order to get ourselves to into the right direction or a better direction. This is all about your feelings here with the five of summer. So you might be processing some feelings, some emotions, right? They might be something minor. It might be something small, but it could be some bigger energy. And at the beginning of the week, we are coming out of the full moon in Virgo energy. And that is on the 24th, right, is, is when that full moon is at the height of its energy. But the energy lingers for a few days. So it may be that you're kind of working through some emotions. It could be like you're, you know, trying to focus on healing so that you can move forward in a better way, right? You could have some, you know, some issues going on within a relationship and it's like all is not lost. There's still an opportunity to go forward because the five of summer, five of cups energy 
we've got five cups, but three are spilt typically, but two are still standing. So we have an opportunity to turn things around. We've got to process something first. So this might be something that you are just working through. You could just wake up on Monday with a little bit of case of the Monday blues, right? Um, you know, we are in Pisces season at the moment as well. And in Pisces season, Pisces is the 12th sign of the Zodiac. So it's the last one. And it's related to the 12th house in astrology, which is the last house, right? And it is mystical. It is magical a little bit. It is a highly intuitive one. Um, it is Pisces energy, Neptune energy. So very spiritual, very intuitive. But it is where we do tend to cleanse and purge, where we do tend to close a chapter, close down a cycle. Um, and so this can be a, this this big kind of um, opportunity, we'll call it, because it is an opportunity, to set the stage for a better tomorrow, to work through some things, leave some things behind, and, you know, get a clearer, better sense of direction. So your, your week might start out on a slightly kind of down note, but there is an opportunity to turn things around. We have the nine of spring coming in here for you as well. And the nine of spring, of course, is the nine of wands energy. So this shows your determination, your ability to persevere. And remember, we've got the chariot at the bottom of the deck, really helping you to persevere, to strive and to get some things done. So with the nine of spring, it's like we are completing something. Nines are about a completion, right? Seeing some of the last steps, right? Just before we kind of really shut something down. So with this energy, you've got some changes or some accomplishments or some things that you need to get done or things that you are cleansing and purging out of your system. And you're right there. You're doing the work and you are going to feel a sense of relief, right? So whether you're, um, you know, again, dealing with issues in a relationship or making some big decisions right there it could be something in your workplace right and so whatever it is there could possibly be an end to something in sight um, but this will um, you know this will perhaps um, initiate some really positive changes for you and the nine of spring does show also, though, a little bit of world weariness. Um, it is a very tiring kind of energy. So, you know, remember to protect your energy. Make sure you get enough sleep this week. Because, uh, again, you might be tossing and turning. You might be having some weird dreams, um, you know, or you're gaining some deep insights and realization into something that's got to go. Something's not working for you. You could have, you know, people around you that aren't playing nice in the sandbox. Maybe you're not happy in your relationship. Maybe you're not happy with a job. You could have a friend that's maybe not playing nice in the sandbox as well. You know, that kind of thing. Thing, all these things kind of do wear us down a little bit. All right. But remember, you have the power to change chariot. You have the power to move forward or you have the power here to fix something. Should it be worth fixing or to leave something behind if that's the best choice for you? But I think you are going through some things this week. We do have the ego card coming out here. Now, the ego card in this deck, of course, it is the devil energy. But it's called ego because first and foremost, the devil card is about our shadow side, our shadow self. And this is, you know, kind of, for the most part, our lower vibe energy, right? This is our temptations, our fears, our doubts in ourselves. This is where we feel a lack of confidence. This is feeling like we're trapped or stuck in some way, right? And so whenever we do get this particular energy out, this is um, an invitation and a reminder that we may need in some area of our lives, whether it's with ourselves or with external people or situations, boundaries and perspective are the order of the day. And you might be in a situation where you're trying to make some positive change in your life right now, but you keep falling into temptation, right? And so you would feel kind of disappointed in yourself. You would feel like, ah, I'm going to beat myself up a little bit. And in the nine of spring, you would feel kind of skeptical, like, can I even reach my goal? You know, so I mean, think about it this way with the with this energy, the things that tempt you, the things that, you know, bring us, you know, kind of addictions, right? Um, food, sugar, booze, right? Those kind of things, spending, right? 
And those are quite kind of our everyday things that can make us feel this way. Like I'm trying to make change. I'm trying to make better choices. I'm trying to make improvements in my life, but man, oh man, I'm really not doing so well. So this can, um, you know, can be where you kind of do beat yourself up a little bit in this energy. But the important thing to recognize is that we always have the power to change. We always have the power to, um, make better choices and sometimes you know breaking old habits right the ego card right we've got old habits and patterns and behaviors that we don't like and breaking bad habits or you know breaking old patterns it's a process it's not just an overnight thing so this is something where we do maybe need to work through a little bit and instead of beating yourself up the chariot card lift yourself up right? Get back on the horse, try again, right? Is so, you know, if you're, if you're maybe trying to eat a little healthier, maybe lose weight, that kind of thing, you know, you, you might fall off the bandwagon. Maybe you have that piece of cake that's floating around the office for someone's birthday and you're like, damn it, I can't resist, right? You know, or you have that plate of French fries when you're out with your friends or something, right? It's one moment in it at, it's one moment in time. So pick yourself up, dust yourself off and try again the next time, right? Try again tomorrow, right? That kind of thing. So, you know, if you, we quite often on our journey to success chariot, okay, we quite often do falter a little bit, right? We take maybe two steps forward, one step back. Sometimes it feels like we take one step forward and three steps back, right? The best thing to do is get back on that horse, get back on that chariot and try again, right? Just make, you know, do something, our goals, right? Do something better tomorrow than you were today, right? That's all you need to do in that. Now, of course, we do have some challenging energy that may come out here with um, with this particular card as well. This can be where you may need to be aware of, especially towards the end of your week, but this is a big energy though, so it can be your entire week. This might be a week where people are not being kind. This might be a week where you have to deal with some sort of toxic people or energy or with the nine of spring, someone or a situation that drains your energy. So ground and protect your energy no matter what your situation is. And if you can avoid a certain situation or certain people, maybe that's in your best interest to do. Um, but with the chariot at the back of the deck, though, I feel like here if there's a relationship whether it's romantic or friendship or whatever it happens to be, or there's like maybe where you work is not the best environment. Maybe you've got like, you know, a controlling boss or, you know, a toxic workplace, you know, people who don't, you know, don't work well together, right? Or you got like whispers in the background, gossip at the water cooler, and you just don't want to deal with it anymore. The chariot shows that this might be your time to move forward right? To move in a different direction and a better direction, right? But you need to take action. You need to take initiative to make that happen. The 10 of spring is the blessings headed your way. Now, this is interesting that that should come up there. So the 10 of spring is coming after the nine of springs. We're making progress. So you're getting things done. You're making decisions. You're wrapping things up, right? And, you know, this benefits you, right? So the nine working towards the 10. So you do get something accomplished this week. All right. Remember to take care of your own energy because you are kind of feels like it's very, uh, very heavy energy. So it's like, you know, I'm tired, right? It's like, I need a nap. I've taken on too much responsibility, right? And we need to turn things around. But the good news is you are getting something done. You are accomplishing something here. So this is good. Um, with the ego card, you could just be really obsessed about something this week here as well, right? It's like, I have a singular focus this week. I need to get this done. I need to resolve this issue. I need to do this. Um, before I can do anything else. So it may be that, you know, you do have that very laser focus, right? That, you know, kind of OCD kind of thing coming in. But with the 10 of spring, part of the blessing for this week is setting healthy boundaries. Go figure. Boundaries and perspective necessary with the ego card, right? So the 10 of spring is always reminding us to have a look at our responsibilities, to have a look at the workload that we've taken on or the responsibilities, the burdens that we carry. Is there something that we can say no to? Are we saying yes when we should be saying no? 
are we carrying other people's workload? And again, here, you know, workplace, right? <laughs> Most workplaces do have the workhorses, and then they've got the people that always kind of seem to go just under the radar right? So this might be where you say no, and you take back your power this week. Power less with the ego card, power full with the chariot, right? So this might be where you say no, you give someone back their own work, their own job. It's like, you're responsible for this. I'm not, I need to focus on my own work. And this is a huge sense of accomplishment here um, because it's not always the easiest thing to do. But the 10 of spring can be used setting those boundaries and recognizing um, where you need to start saying no or what responsibilities that you're taking on that you should be delegating or that you need help with. And if you ask for help, you'll probably get it. This can also be where, again, we get some closure, we make a final decision, and this can be really very important for us, right? So we got a little bit of relief coming in here because the tennis spring, of course, yes, it's a very stressful energy, very, um, you know, feeling like you got a monkey on your back, right? But in your blessings, this is a relief, right? Or this is this really important decision to move on and let something go, right? So we're completing something here in this energy. Your advice from spirit, we've got the king of summer. The king of summer is a wonderful energy. So number one, trust your intuition, right? It's the king of cups. So trust your intuition, all right? This is also a really good week to perhaps instead of focusing on your material world, shift your focus a little bit or try and find a little bit of time to focus on your spiritual side, to meditate or set some intentions, set some goals, um, that kind of thing, right? Pay attention to your dreams. Again, with this energy as well, the ego card can be about the physical and the king of summer can be very related to the spiritual, which we've got going on in Pisces season. So this can be a great week for you to try and find a little bit more balance, right, somewhere. Um, now, the king of summer can also be a person, right? So yes, it can be you, your energy, right? Um, you know, focus on healing and happiness and, um, you know, if you... If there is something in a relationship that you need to fix, then you have the opportunity or the possibility to do that or trust in the decisions that you make, follow your heart, do what's right for you. And if you do need to leave a relationship behind or if there's something that you can't overcome, um, the red flags are just a little bit too much, then trust that your decisions that you're making here are the right ones for you. Follow your heart, right? Your heart is the most important thing. So um, big energy, right? Big energy and big decision for some of you. But the king of summer can represent a very important person that may be um, very helpful for you this week. And this can be um, perhaps some of you are, you know, moving forward to something that you really love and enjoy. So you might meet somebody here that can um, that you want to partner up with. Um, you might be meeting someone like, let's say you want to change your job. This can be, you know, um, uh, you reaching out and connecting with like an HR person or maybe even an owner of a company, that kind of thing. And this is like kind of sparks a little bit of interest in you, right? So this can be a very helpful person. Um, the king of summer can be someone that can give you some really important advice this week as well. And there's someone that would have your best interests at heart, someone who is very kind and caring, someone who, you know, they exude a little bit of warmth, right? So this can be a really important connection. It might be someone, um, you know, a friend as well, right? So a friend, a connection that you have, maybe a family member, right? It's just someone, someone new might come in this week or somebody that you already know can lift your spirits or help you out in some way. Um, and this can be really wonderful. But focus on your own happiness, your personal happiness, your joy. Also be kind to yourself in this energy, especially if you're beating yourself up a little bit or if there's something that you're afraid to do, right? Believe in yourself, be confident, and take care of your own energy, your physical, your spiritual, and your emotional this week, right? And be confident though, no matter what your situation is. And sometimes we do lack confidence or we feel a little bit down, but I feel like if you are a little bit down, then you have an opportunity to come back up again. So let's grab 
couple more cards out here for you. I think we'll get two of these. There's your first. Whoa, okay, there's your second one. All right, doing a somersault right out of the deck. So let's see what we've got. We've got tree wisdom here for you. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sound that it makes. Um, pay attention to any kind of voices that you might hear. Pay attention to any kind of um, dreams that you may have. Um, and pay attention to any music. Right now, number one, if you're feeling down and you're feeling sad, music may lift your spirits. Music sings to our soul. Um, but you might also be driving along in the car and maybe a song comes on the radio. Pay attention to those things because sometimes the songs that come on the radio really do kind of, um, uh, they can carry a message for you. And it may be a song that you've heard a million times before, and it's just in this one instance that you recognize the words or you hear the music, the song for the first time. So music may play a key role for you through your week, um, but also trees. Connect with nature, connect with trees, and, you know, especially if you're feeling like things are out of control or anything like that, um, or if you're feeling a little down or a little bit lost, right? Connecting with nature can be a really great way to pick up your spirits a little bit or just help you feel a little grounded. Hey, the wonderful. We've got a healing energy coming in here. This is awesome. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others, even you. All right. So, you know, whatever situation you've got going on, you have an opportunity to move forward, to fix it, to heal it, or to let it go and then embrace healing energy within you. I'll leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please do hit like on this video. And um, I will move on now to deck number three. Hello to those of you who chose deck number three. You have chosen the Golden Journey Tarot. Let's have a look and see what messages are coming out for you guys in the week ahead. Messages for deck number three. What messages are coming out for their week ahead? Thank you very much. We have the three of cups to start out your week. That's good. The five of pentacles. That's not as good. Um, and we've got the knight of swords. Okay. So a little bit of up and down energy. <laughs> up, down, up. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got the Six of Swords at the back of the deck here for you. The Six of Swords is about leaving troubled times, leaving difficult energies, turbulencies, if you will, and moving forward into something better, something calmer, something lighter, something brighter. The Six of Swords may indicate that you will need to find compromise in communication this week. So if you are dealing with people or situations, compromise is the key for you to move forward. All right. This may also be um, where you're learning something this week or there's something that you're experiencing as a rite of passage. Right. Sometimes there's certain little bumps in the road along the way um, that we need to experience and that we need to overcome in order to get deeper understanding, wisdom, that kind of thing. Right. So you might be learning something in that regard. All right. Um, but this is about moving forward. Okay. Some of you could be considering relocating or something, or maybe going on a journey, going on a trip. So that can be actually really quite positive for you. Now we do start out your week with the three of cups. The three of cups can bring in a cel celebratory energy. You may be receiving some good news. You might get an invitation to somewhere. Um, you may need to spend a little bit of money. Okay. Just saying, um, with the knight of swords, you could be talking about things, right? You might get some good news. The Three of Cups does bring in um, a social energy, so getting together with your friends. The Five of Pentacles here can represent some sort of um, loss or um, unexpected bills, right? So like, uh, you know, less money, right? So you might be paying for something this week, but it could be for something really positive, right? So in this energy, maybe you're making some plans to go away with a couple of friends. It might be for the weekend, might be for a bigger trip down the road, um, and you need to fork it. it. might be with the Five of Pentacles coming up, it might be that it's a little bit more money than you had originally intended to spend. 
Okay, but you are experiencing a down patch possibly in your money with this energy. But it feels like, you know, it's a temporary thing. I mean, it usually is. So we've got up, we've got this temporary dip, right? And then we've got some excitement here with this too. So yeah, sometimes we do need to have a loss, a loss of money in order to gain something really positive. So um, just keep your eye on that. So you might have to pay for a couple of things or it might cost a little bit more than you had initially expected. Watch your money this week, though, because the five of pentacles can indicate that, yes, maybe there's something exciting that you're spending your money on, right? And it's wonderful, right? But it kind of leaves you whoo, uh, a little bit um, pinching your pennies until paycheck comes. And so if this is a pay week for you, just be a little bit aware of that, of overspending. So you're not eating like Mr. Noodles or something for the last couple of days. Um, but you could have an unexpected bill. That kind of thing can come in here. But the five of pentacles is a lack mentality. Um, and it can be a no a card here as well. So, you know, I feel here that, you know, with the jovial energy that comes in with the three of cups, it's very high vibe, very positive, um, you know, very optimistic, right? There could be some sort of situation in your social group that presents itself this week. Um, it could be like some gossip or it could be that you might feel, um, like you can't afford something or that you don't have what other people have. So you might be comparing yourself to other people this week as well, because with the five of pentacles, it is a lack mentality or a lack energy feeling like we're left out, feeling like we're left out in the cold, um, feeling a little bit lost or a little bit destitute sometimes there. Um, we always need to remember with the five of pentacles that there always is opportunities to turn things around or to make better choices or to ask for help, right? But we don't always see it when we're in this five of pentacles energy. Very important to get out of that energy if we can, right? Sometimes it's just a money thing, you know, or sometimes you just might get a no or something like that. The important thing is to focus on a solution, focus on moving forward, and to focus on a better tomorrow, right? Because otherwise we get, we tend to get stuck in a lack energy and we don't want to do that because, um, like attracts like, right? Lack attracts lack right? Abundance attracts abundance, right? Love attracts love, you know, so you the energy that you put out does flow back to you. So it might just be a temporary thing where you're just feeling a little bit down in the middle of the week, right? But it could also be something that you do need to work through and maybe you just need to take a different approach. And because that five of pentacles represents that there is opportunities there, there's a different, but we have to ask for help or we have to take a different approach or look at things a little bit differently. So just be aware of that. Okay. Um, cause yeah, we don't want to get stuck there. Okay. But with the Knight of Swords coming in here as well, this can be something very exciting that's coming in, that's happening for you. Something that you might need to take some action, some initiative on. Um, you may even need to do some quick thinking here. Um, but the Knight of Swords can bring you some communication, some message, invitations, um, all of that kind of thing. And if you do get an invitation, right, maybe you get an invitation to go away for the weekend with your friends and you might be looking in, in this five of pentacles energy going, I don't know if I can afford it, but maybe there's something different that you can do, or maybe there's other resources that you can tap into so that maybe you can afford it. So if your friends are going away for like three night getaway or something like that, maybe, you know, maybe they might recognize that you can't afford what they can and perhaps they're willing to change their plans. Um, but you might also just go on a shorter trip, right? So instead of going away for three, four days or a whole week, right? Maybe you just go for a day or two, right? And that can be a, a different approach at that, right? So it could be something very exciting coming in, but something that also creates this little bit of panic, um, in your, in your soul there. But I do feel that there is, um, you know, uh, and hmm, be a little bit aware. Okay, because with the Knight of Swords can sometimes be um, impulsive energy, right? Um, just something like, oh my God, I've got to act on this now. But it could be something with the Five of Pentacles that may not necessarily be the best deal, um, might not be the deal that you think it is, um, you know, or it could be something where making a rash decision, an impulsive purchase 
perhaps could kind of lead you in the poor house a little bit temporarily. So just be very aware of that energy. But I do feel that, you know, even though there is a little down patch in the middle of your week, by the time the weekend comes along, I think you're buzzing, you're hopping, you're feeling good. Um, you're feeling a lot more positive about things. Lines of communication are open. You're resolving some issues and things are a lot more pleasant um, in that energy there. The blessings headed your way. We've got the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups can be a wonderful energy, okay, um, especially in your blessings position. Um, it may be something from your past. You could bump into an old friend. Um, you know, you could, uh, you know, you could get an invitation to go out and have some fun, right? You could have a second chance at something, right? So, you know, we may think that we lose an opportunity or lose a chance and then it might come back around. So you could have second chances in this particular energy, but your best blessing with the six of cups, and this is where the knight of swords might come in. Remember, we use a sword to cut things out or to gain clarity, insight, the truth, right? Crystal clear communication, especially in the upright. So in the six of cups, this is a little bit of um, a little bit of a, how should we say, a little bit of a middle ground kind of energy. So it is about the past, the present and the future. One leads into the other, right? Our present moment is created by our past energies and decisions. Our tomorrow, our future is created by today's decisions and energies and actions. So in this energy, it's always a reminder in the Six of Cups to live for today, to be focused on today, right? Be present. Some of you with the Six of Cups might be receiving a gift, receiving a present, this can be an invitation. It can be some money. It can be just going out and having fun, tapping into your inner child, six of cups. Some of you here could be resolving old issues, right? And this is like, here I am today. I'm reflecting on things. How did I get to where I am? Or, you know, um, you know, maybe you're just feeling a little nostalgic because that comes in here as well. And now you're like, okay, you know what? I can change things around. I can turn things around. So you could be clearing out some old energies there with this particular with this particular message. But you could also be making future plans. The decisions that you make today affect your tomorrow. So yeah, here you could be making some plans for tomorrow, right? Are you going to move? Um, you know, go on a vacation? Are you going to spend your money a little bit better? Are you going to have more fun in your life? Um, are you, you know, going, uh, going out with some friends later, right? So with this energy here, this can be where you really do have your sights on tomorrow, right? And you're focused on today, but you are looking into your tomorrow and you're like, ah, uh, no, no, I need to be conservative in my energy today so I can afford something tomorrow, right? Um, you could be doing that. So this is really about being present, being focused, having fun, um, seizing the moment, seizing the day, the six of cups with the knight of swords would be a very kind of um, spontaneous kind of energy, um, but in a positive way, right? So, uh, you know, so this can be really nice, but I do feel that maybe there is like a little bit of a gathering of old friends and perhaps the five of pentacles here in the middle, maybe that someone doesn't show up or someone can't attend, or maybe someone cancels right? So it can be that as well. You still have a good time or you still connect with them, um, you know, but it's like, oh, you're kind of missing someone in there, right? Because the five of pentacles can be, you know, someone missing, right? You know, in that energy, but your blessing is having fun, is being present, being here today, right? But again, some of you may get some sort of gift. So accept your gift graciously and with thanks. We've got the sun coming out here for you. And this is your advice from spirit. Have fun. Have fun. Focus on the positive. Focus on the things you want to create. The sun card brings about a sense of happiness and joy. Success. Abundance. Believe in your abundance. Blossoming abundance in your life. That you can succeed. That you can overcome. If a problem or a challenge presents itself, look to the future. Look to a solution. Right? Embrace a positive, abundant mindset. 
You have the power to create. You have the energy to create. You have the power to change. And spirit wants you to believe that. When we embrace the sun energy, it chases all of the shadows, the doubts, the fears, and the lack away. All right. And that's exactly what we want to do, right? Embrace abundance. Embrace positivity. Have fun. Do something interesting. Get out and meet people or connect with friends, right? In the Six of Cups energy, right? Feed your inner child because you have the ability, you have the power to turn things around or to really kind of live your best life, right? So this might be a week for you where you're really focusing on your own happiness and joy, or you're really making a conscious effort to get out and do something a little bit more lighthearted um, than you usually, than you maybe have been in the last little while. But the sun, regardless of where it comes out in your reading, always casts a positive light, always casts the joyous energy um and it again chases the chases the doubts away chases the the fears away chases the confusion away because the sun brings clarity as well right so you could really be getting some clarity about something this week but focusing on abundance and not lack, we do have the secret manifestation cards out here for you, which I chose for you before I started your reading. And your first card, you are an eternal being. Take a look at the world around you. None of it can exist without you. No matter who you thought you were, you now know the truth of who you really are. You are the master of the universe. You are the heir to the kingdom. You are the perfection of life. So if you start to get in that five of pentacles energy, turn it around. Change your mind and change your life. There you go. No matter what you might have manifested, you can change it with one small positive thought and then another. I'll leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please do hit that like button there. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Throw a comment in the box down below. Say hello. Where are you watching from? What's going on with you? What are you manifesting in your life? So I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you guys later. Bye.